beautiful fall day at White Memorial. I just love this time of year. The landscape comes alive, and it's a time of year when we can really appreciate the diversity of, of uh, plant growth out there, especially in the, in the way of trees and the, the colored leaves. And as chlorophyll begins to dissolve away, we get to see various colors that are evident according to species. And we have a, a sugar maple leaf here that uh, most of the chlorophyll has dissolved away. And when this happens, we get to see the pigments that are in the leaf uh, all along uh, in the way of, of yellows and browns and oranges. And these are due to a pigment called carotene. So here's the sugar maple and uh, it's uh, beginning to uh, let us know that, that, that fall is on the way. We can identify oak in the fall often by the either the reds or the the browns here we've got a northern red oak tree and tannin is the pigment that gives this uh, leaf its its brown color so we can drive along at 50 miles an hour like i'm prone to do and identify some of the trees like the oaks the birches often go yellow there's fine serrations around the edge here's a fully turned sugar maple leaf with its big teeth and uh, this leaf is showing yellow and orange, maybe even tending to red. Now the red color in leaves in the fall is due to trapped sugars that uh, uh, interact with the sun and become a pigment called anthocyanin. At any rate, the sugar maples certainly brighten up uh, the landscape here in, uh, in the fall. The red maple leaf often is a little darker and it's sharing the page with a purple colored dogwood leaf. Again, anthocyanin, the pigment responsible for uh, these colors. And so uh, as, as fall comes and the landscape lights up, uh, we can appreciate the diversity of, of, of tree species that are in the field uh, or in the woods, uh, uh, just, uh, just passing through. We're standing next to the Japanese Katsura tree, which is not a native of, of uh, New England. Uh, obviously, it's from Japan, but uh, this tree has leaves that look a little bit like the red bud leaves of trees that you'll see in the Appalachian Mountains uh, in the south, uh, southeastern United States. But uh, this one, this specimen was brought here uh, and planted uh, 25 or 30 years ago. And it's always a treat, not only in color, but the leaves as they, as they fall off of the tree emanate, uh, emit rather, this, this really wonderful, sweet scent. And so I refer to this as the, the uh, cotton candy tree. And all you have to do is visit this tree at this time of year, grab a handful of leaves, and get that great cotton candy smell. You can even sense that as you walk past the tree. You don't have to get that up close and personal if you're worried about inhaling an insect or something. But what a, what a wonderful day, what a wonderful time of year to get outside and enjoy what, uh, what this environment has to offer in terms of uh, beauty.